Hello clinic owners from all around the world. Today we would like to share the best practices with you. My name is Maria. I'm Samuel and uh, today's topic will be how to build your clinic website and how to increase the trust of your patients of that website. Exactly. Is your website convincing enough to earn patient trust? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, make yourself sure that you display all correct general information, which includes prices, your accreditation, your medical team, clinic expertise, and also some awards and facilities that you have at your clinic. Uh, secondly, very important thing is to have uh, displayed reviews. This is, I think, the most important point when, yeah. when speaking about patients, because a patient wants to know uh, how was previous experience of the past patients with the treatment, with clinic staff, with facilities and with the quality of treatment. And you should have this, you should display these reviews like, uh, directly on your website and also let the patients to write the review directly on your website. And there are several tools for that. As you know, we have uh, our GCR website uh, widget, which you can uh, just put on your website. And uh, this, uh, this tool helps you to aggregate all your reviews all together at one place and uh, it lets patients to write the review on your website uh, just straight away. The, first, the third thing is your medical team. So uh, try to display the pictures of all of your staff, of your doctors. Uh, try to put uh, the smiley pictures because patients want to see uh, smiley faces when they come to your clinic. Uh, to each picture of doctor, try to put the most information about their expert expertise so they can see that uh, uh, the, the quality of treatment will be really great and that they are in really good hands. Uh, try to write there also uh, their, uh, for example, uh, titles, their specializations and uh, the most importantly uh, to show and demonstrate that uh, they are good at what they do. Yeah, show their certifications, diplomas, uh, their uh, education, uh, I mean the university that they graduated from, the year. This is all valuable information. Exactly. So ex expertise is very important in this case uh, because patients really rely on, uh, on uh, the quality of this treatment. And uh, please make sure that you also display the pictures of your staff, for example, patient managers or uh, reception uh, desk workers. So. If they come into your clinic, they just see the faces which are known for them already. And they feel more comfortable, they feel more friendly, and uh, it's more easier for them uh, to make this decision uh, to book the treatment or to have treatment within your clinic. Uh, and another thing which is very important is uh, your clinic pictures uh, of uh, an environment at your clinic, the reception area, the treatment rooms, your facilities, um, as well as, for example, corridor and waiting area. So uh, patients can uh, see how, how is the, the feeling at your clinic. But about pictures, uh, uh, my yeah, colleague Samuel... I will, I will provide you with more information shortly. Yes. And why to do this? Why to, uh, what are the benefits of using these uh, tools and recommendations? So first of all, all the reviews are displayed at your website. So as, as we mentioned, this is, I think, the most important thing for patients. Uh, it builds uh, very high trust. Uh, secondly, you, your website have improved search on uh, engine results. That means that uh, the more information you provide of your own content, uh, of your own pictures, you appear in the search results, for example, in Google uh, better and in higher positions, uh, then you can uh, have peer recommendations. Uh, uh, then you build closer relationship with your patients, which is very important. Uh, and uh, you, of course, will have increased bookings in this case because website is probably the first touch 
uh, when patients see your clinic and uh, first touch when patient meets your clinic. So try to make the best impression you can in order to impress them and to have the booking. And uh, I forgot to mention one another tool that we have and it's free of charge for every clinic which is registered in GCR and it's our GCR uh, score box. Uh, this uh, score box uh, shows your uh, GCR score and also how, how you rank worldwide. When a patient click on this, they can see your uh, GCR profile and they can see all of this information aggregate in one website. And it's really immediately increased the trust and it catches attention of patients when they see that uh, you are registering an international uh, website which, uh, which is ranking clinics. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one more thing I would like uh, just to remind uh, with the reviews. It's also great if you do video testimonials of the patients. So, yeah, because everyone likes to see videos, not only to read the reviews. So, exactly. like, more three to five minute uh, video testimonial is also a great thing to have. Yeah, either a testimonial from patients or just a general video where a patient can see uh, the environment of your clinic, yeah, also uh, like your a doctors. Tour of your clinic. Yeah, mm -hmm. and maybe also some speech of your doctor, mm -hmm. uh, how he welcomes your patients uh, with smiley face. Yeah. Okay, so we can move on to the pictures uh, of your clinic on your website. Uh, remember, this applies not only for your website, but also for your GCR profile and your social media profiles. Uh, because from what we have seen from uh, thousands of uh, clinic websites uh, and social medias, they uh, do not always know what kind of pictures to upload. Sometimes they uh, they have uh, awesome photos, but sometimes they show uh, not very useful photos for the patients. Uh, so uh, it, it's uh, important to understand that uh, pictures are maybe even the most important source of information on website because a lot of patients, they just don't read, they just want to see. Uh, so make sure you have a lot of photos on your website, uh, but have important photos which means uh, photos of your medical team, of your facilities, expertise, uh, treatment rooms, and also outside area, and your clinic from outside. Yeah, so it's easily to find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, if you provide some accommodation for patients, make sure to have a photo of your hostel or hotel or whatever place. Uh, those pictures should be uh, family friendly, so, uh, not very cold photos, just of the doctor, but uh, feel free to uh, really um, be creative, like uh, take the pictures of the doctor welcoming the patient or even during the treatment. Exactly. Also your uh, reception uh, area, make sure to have uh, photos of that uh, with your receptionist welcoming the patients or uh, providing them with some data or information. Exactly, you can also provide them with detailed pictures of treatments or with your facilities or uh, any kind of place. I think uh, the pictures they can see in a few minutes, they just click and they really know the area mm -hmm. and yeah. they, they will be more happy to see that. And make yourself sure that all your staff is smiley and friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Like we are. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, next um, step is to make sure your photos are all original. No copied photos or uh, some photo temp uh, templates. Or from photo banks. Yeah, yeah. Not Do, great. don't use that because uh, if patients, uh, if they uh, visit, let's say, 10 websites of 10 uh, different clinics, sometimes they see the same photos and it's, it doesn't really make sense. Use your own photos. Uh, you can even order a uh, photograph stuff for one day to do the photo shooting and then just use those photos so that it's really original and it's uh, genuine from your clinic. Uh, also, all your uh, pictures should be relevant to your services, which you provide uh, patients with. So uh, don't uh, use pictures that don't really tell patients anything. 
Uh, you can use before and after pictures, but not that many because it's not very... It doesn't look so good. Yeah. And uh, every, every case, every treatment is different, so it doesn't really tell that much. But as for your results, if you, you're proud, which we believe you are proud of them, you can show a, a little bit of those pictures as well. Uh, don't put commercial photos uh, on your website, um, especially in your gallery, uh, because again, it doesn't really tell anything to the patient. Uh, it doesn't serve uh, that much purpose for them. Exactly. So, for example, if you have GCR profile and you put just a picture of your logo on it, mm. it doesn't look so great because patients, are, for first impression, he wants to see your clinic team, not, uh, not your logo or the facility or your dental chair. Mm -hmm. And make yourself sure that you use this in all of your channels. All your channels, Everywhere. either social media's website or or GCR profile should have really relevant pictures and especially first pictures should be attention grabbing. So mm -hmm. uh, there should be displayed uh, clinic stuff. Mm -hmm. first uh, place. Another, another thing I would like to talk about a little bit is the, the properties of photos. Uh, first of all, make sure to use high quality, high definition photos, uh, not uh, some blurry uh, photos because that already uh, tells the patient that uh, you don't kind of care about the quality. If you don't care about the quality of your photos, they can't really expect you to care about the quality, quality of, of, treatment. <laughs> of treatment. Exactly. Yeah, so make sure to always use high quality photos. Yeah, but maybe maybe not in uh, so high resolution in order to display it very quickly on your website. So don't let patients wait until the mm -hmm. picture is loaded, but make yourself sure that it, that it will be displayed immediately. Yeah, great point, great point. Uh, those uh, pictures should be usually in landscape mode, not a portrait mode. Uh, it's uh, just a matter of optimization how it's displayed on the website. It's better to have it landscape mode. Uh, those pictures should be light, uh, always shoot only in daylight. Uh, <clears throat> you don't have to put photos of nearby locations like uh, some restaurants nearby or anything because patients just want to see your clinic and uh, your services. Uh, as you mentioned, logos are not, uh, they don't serve purpose of primary pictures. So just have, have your logo uh, on your website somewhere in the header, uh, but always uh, in, the, in the main section, just use relevant photos, exactly. as we mentioned. And uh, there uh, should also not be a contact info in those pictures, because it's uh, kind of disturbing, yeah. and you should have your own contact info section. It doesn't look good, they cannot copy it, uh and of course, yeah. contact info belongs to your part on website where is contact information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and make sure really that those uh, pictures are real, as we mentioned, uh, do it yourself or ask some professionals to take it. It uh, may sound like it's some ad additional work, but in the long run, uh, long run it really serves the purpose. And it yeah. costs you just one day of shooting with your staff. Mm -hmm. You can make also video uh, and uh, you have it done for one or two years. After that, maybe you mm -hmm. should change the pictures and make it new ones. Keep it fresh, another point. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. So. And keep in mind that it's all for patients, not for other clinic owners or peers or uh, competition. It's not even for you. <laughs> yeah, it's just what the patients want to see. So yeah, include those pictures. Yeah, okay. super. Uh, we also have uh, uh, articles for both of these topics, uh, including uh, building clinic trust and also the pictures, how they should uh, look like. So we can uh, just uh, pass it to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it into the section uh, uh, below this video. Yeah, exactly. So you can uh, all read it and have it. And keep it and yeah I think that's uh, all from this topic mm -hmm. and now we will show you uh, the website of one uh, clinic 
uh, how it looks like, what is good, what is bad, what they have, what they can change and improve. And let's see. Yeah, let's analyze. <laughs> so let's see the website of Dr. Popovic from Serbia, Belgrade. So as we can see, uh, the Dr. Popovic, uh, the first thing that I see is his uh, picture. Mm -hmm. which is really good because patient can uh, directly see who will be treating himself. Yeah, it's already like personal. Uh, another great thing you can see the website is in five foreign languages, which is awesome. Not, which not many clinics do it. In uh, English, German, Italian, Serbian and also Russian language. And yeah, that this is really awesome because uh, not every clinic has mm -hmm this kind of features. Uh, then as we can see in main menu, uh, on the right side we see the contact, uh, so patient can immediately see it and click it. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course they included a contact information also on this side and uh, they, they gave inf all the important information about clinic address and uh, about uh, yeah, phone, phone number, numbers and work hours that's also great not many clinics again have it's it. immediately displayed uh, under the main menu so i think this is perfect best practice for all the clinics because uh, if patients really decides to come into this clinic he just really wants to save his time and just directly mm -hmm. And especially call. if you have customized opening hours like Dr. Popovic, you should always have this because there is some lunch break as you can see. So yeah. Exactly. When we click on a contact as I did before, uh, there is uh, also displayed the map of a clinic uh, so we can see the location and uh, patient for especially foreign patient who will come to visit this clinic. Uh, see where the clinic is located, if it's close to city center or not. And uh, this is very important for international patients. Mm -hmm. So they want to enjoy also the spirit of the city and they don't have to travel so much. So as we see the Dr. Popovic's clinic really close to city center. Uh, and of course, don't forget to uh, include contact form because some patients are too lazy to go to their email to contact you or to call you so they can just fill, fill in all the information directly on your website. Yeah, very brief, very compact design, very easy to navigate. So this is very nice, nice section. Exactly. Another section which is well displayed is price list. Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, the price list is very important for building the trust of patients. So make yourself sure that you demonstrate also your price list directly on website and uh, patient don't have to contact you in order to get uh, prices for his treatment because mm -hmm. if he already knows what has to be done he can see the prices and he can directly decide if it's yeah. affordable for him or not as you may probably know in some countries by law you are not allowed to show the price list uh, then don't worry it's not the end of the world they can the patient still can contact you and ask for it uh, but if you can um, it's always good to display this. Exactly. Another section is dental tourism. So as we see, this uh, clinic is uh, focusing on also international patients. Mm -hmm. They want to give the patients uh, the best view on the city. So uh, the patient doesn't come only for the treatment, but also to see the city and its beauties. So. Uh, they try to give uh, the best uh, recommendations uh, about the city, what to visit, mm -hmm. uh, which places are good for uh, evening, for hanging out, for example, <laughs> and uh, how you can organize your trip, in which hotels you should stay. This is very important f for patients. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It, it saves them a lot of work that they would have to basically uh, figure out on their own but if you show them it's already giving them another service yeah they just don't have to search for recommendations mm -hmm. what to visit in belgrade because they see it on your website and they know that it's the best recommendation from people who live there so and of course as we see in every uh, landing page they have contact mm -hmm. formula so 
So whatever uh, catches attention of patient and uh, it gives him option to decide directly and mm -hmm. fill in the contact formula. Very smart. Yeah. Another section is services. So make yourself sure that you provide patient with information ab about your services. Uh, of course, uh, basic uh, information about uh, dental treatment services. Uh, and uh, with some short description what will be done and but of course don't forget to include the your special services that you provide patients with for example if you have pickup at the airport providing with free accommodation mm -hmm. uh, flights arranging uh, or accommodation arranging or helping with visa or yeah. translation mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't forget to include extra services that you provide uh, and also uh, these uh, dental treatment services. Uh, another section, as we see, uh, contains about us. So we can see there are uh, six sections. Uh, first is ordination. Yeah, that's exactly as you mentioned in the beginning, uh, the general information. It seems like it's all here. So we can see the story about the clinic, the, it has 30 years of providing smells to all generations, so it has great history and it's a family business. Uh, then you yeah, there can are some facilities, uh, technology that they're using, it's mentioned here. So Exactly. Then there we have... Uh, all important information seems to be present here. And they include also yeah. clinic pictures. So, as we mentioned before, uh, in this section they included the clinic logo, uh, treatment rooms, and the facilities. Yeah, the reception area. If we click next for employees, we expect uh, to see the employees and pick the, and their pictures. So we see all the clinic staff with mm -hmm. description. Can I you maybe click? If we click, maybe we see more about this doctor, yes. So we can see his schools, his specializations, expertise, the cities where he studied. And this is, of course, really important, yeah. as we also mentioned before. But let's get back. We can see all the clinic staff, not just doctors and not just receptionist, uh, we see also the management, management. Uh, we see also uh, yeah, this way uh, the patients get the overall picture of your clinic they know exactly who works there, who they will meet, who they can expect to meet and treat them so they will be more eager yeah. to really come and try to put really smiley faces <laughs> <laughs> Uh, another section is certification. So here, I wonder what we will see. <laughs> yeah, so here we see uh, all the certificates, also in uh, a home, their home language, but also some of them are in English. So they included uh, the certificates from schools, from, uh, from doctors, mm -hmm. and, but also from clinic itself. Yeah, if it's personal, like doctor certification, you can uh, also put it into the doctor's profile so that it is on one place. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's good this way anyway. Exactly. Another section is technologies. So we can see here uh, what facilities they have, uh, maybe in what areas they are special comparing to other clinics uh, which, don't, which uh, don't have these facilities. And you can also click it and see uh, more, like mm -hmm. wh what exact facility uh, is used used for. Another section are before and after pictures. So yeah, here we can see mm. how miracles they made with the patients. Yeah, it, it is good if you insert a little bit of those. Uh, that's for sure so that patients they can really see your uh, your results results yeah your outcomes mm -hmm. exactly and last section is others about us uh, maybe i would call this section uh, in other ways so patients mm -hmm. can understand it better 
yeah, maybe like something fake like feedback or like reviews feedback or because reviews. basically they want to say what uh, other patients said about their clinic and about the their visit so here we can see the gcr uh, website widget review widget uh, which displays all of your uh, feedbacks from facebook from google pools and also from gcr and uh, yeah of course they are in uh, several languages so each patient can find uh, for themselves uh, the right language and mm -hmm. the right review to read and uh, yeah as we mentioned before this is uh, the most important uh, thing to see at website just as you look at the trip advisor on uh, or booking and uh, apart from pictures and apart from uh, location you probably also search for uh, recommendations and if uh, there is bad recommendation you think twice if you walk into this clinic mm -hmm. also in the footer of the website uh, there is uh, the GCR score widget uh, score widget that we mentioned uh, so this way you can get uh, redirected to the GCR profile of the clinic and exactly. you can see their uh, score yeah, you can uh, see the score and uh, it's uh, interactive so immediately when your score changes uh, it changes also on your website and it also shows your global rank mm -hmm. so if you belong to top 1% of yeah. dental clinics worldwide and perhaps the last important thing uh, the social media links it is there that's awesome yeah you can sign up for newsletter and uh, as we can see uh, mostly on the website, call, call to actions are yeah. well displayed. So, Maria, how would you rate this website? Well, I would give it uh, maybe five star. There, yeah. there is place for some little improvements, mm -hmm. but in general, it it doesn't uh, miss anything. Yeah, the design is perfect. Uh, it's, uh, it's great simple, to navigate in. Mm -hmm. But and all the information seems to be there. Yeah, the graphic design is very good and yeah, I have nothing to add because uh, this website is just perfect. I think it's uh, also uh, with help of uh, GCR consultations because this yes. is our GCR accredited clinic. So we wanted to show you also a great example mm -hmm. of the clinic website. Oh yeah, and the video testimonials here as exactly. well. Perfect. And yeah. Also, here we can see all again mm -hmm. review widget and video testimony. Also, also, your partners that's just great, doesn't miss anything. Great work, <laughs> super. So, I think that's all for from us. Uh, don't hesitate to contact us, and if you are interested uh, in your website to be analyzed by us, just let us know mm -hmm. and write uh, on contact at gcr.org. Yeah. Even if you have any questions whatsoever, always feel free. We will be us. happy to help you. So, have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.